everyone, and welcome to this week's review. I am your host, Prue, and with me is Mr. Mighty Mango. How are you this week? I'm doing well. So, I'm excited about this week's review. We're going to be talking about a yeah, game. you're more excited than I am. Yes. So. Yeah, we have a, <laughs> I think we're going to have a, a difference of opinion, but uh, why don't you explain to everybody what game we're talking about? All right. We actually played a game that probably is held deep in the hearts of many listeners. Is Toe Jam and Earl back in the groove exclamation point published and developed by human nature studios i think it's humana nature but human nature studios is how i'm going to pronounce it uh released march 1st 2019 so this is a relatively new game i think it's classified on ta as a rogue light action adventure game it seems kind of action adventure to me yeah i actually um just out of curiosity i clicked on the rogue light because I wanted to know how they defined it, and it was it's basically anything with sort of randomized items and per- permadeath and that sort of thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, Doesn't so... That makes sense. Yeah, so it definitely is. Um, I'm going to give a little bit of a, a disclaimer, I think, here, because the original Toe Jam and Earl is such a massive part of my childhood. Like, it's one of the earliest games I remember putting a significant amount of time into playing it with friends, and so I love... Toe Jam and Earl. I absolutely love it. And uh, so, yeah. So, I guess we'll just we'll get into the game. You didn't have that much fun, huh? No, I was kind of bored with it. I guess, and I'm going to put the disclaimer in, is where you grew up with the game. You're a little bit younger than me, so I played it a little bit when I was older, I guess. I would have been in high school, high school, almost college. Um, I just kind of bored me. <laughs> I mean, it looks exactly, it looks and plays as I remember the original. I mean, I have a copy of the original. I just haven't played it in a while because of the same reason. I just, it, it kind of bored me. Kind of not a lot of, I don't know, just too slow. Slow paced, I guess is what I would call it. <laughs> it is very slow paced. So if you're unfamiliar with Toe Roll, it's an isometric um, game where you walk, it's not, yeah. There are randomized levels and items, which are the presents, and you basically are trying to find 10 pieces of spaceship so you can get off of Earth. And so you go through all these levels, and there's bad Earthlings that are trying to, to stop you. And you don't really have like a traditional sort of attack. So you get items that allow you to do different sorts of things. So um, it, it is a very slow-paced game. Uh, you, you go to a level, you explore around, you try to avoid getting killed, and then try to get to the next level. Um, it's, and it's very, very true to the original Toe Jam and Earl. Uh, to, uh, to, well, that's to what I fault. thought, too. It, it, it looks a lot like the original. I mean, it very, very true to the original, which was cool. I will, I will say, nostalgia-wise, that was cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're absolutely getting what you pay for if you're doing it in terms of I want the same Toe Jam and Earl experience. Um, I thought it was a little too much, like a little too samey. I mean, it's been 25, it was in 1991 or 1992, I think the original was released. And Something like um, at this point, the only thing, the only real feature that they added here that you don't have in the original, other than like quality of life stuff, is um, online play. So that's significant. And and there's different game modes. I don't think the original had the different modes you could select. Is it did. That right? It had a fixed and a random mode. Oh, it did yep. have a fixed. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't remember. Yeah. So it's it's pretty much the same game for better or worse. Um, minus the nostalgia, and added a few little extra bells and whistles here and there. So if if you have played the original, you know what you're in for. If you haven't, it's it's a, such a unique game. I would, I would recommend it, especially if you have some people. And one of the good things that this game does is you can have four-player four co-op, you know, all sorts of mixes of online, offline. It's drop-in, drop-out, and uh, it's a blast with friends. So, See, I I never played it co-op, and I think that's part of the part I missed, is single-player kind of didn't really offer much. You run around, get items, and try to find the pieces of the ship to leave. Um, but I think with multiplayer gaming i think it would be more enjoyable and i just didn't touch on that part because i wanted to see what the single player was all about yeah there's there's functionally no difference between a co-op game and a, and a single player game you do the same thing it's just that yeah you're losing out on like the social interaction of course and and the on the, the fun. fun you could say that i, I definitely <laughs> see why why it's you know you could consider boring 
when you're playing by yourself because you're just kind of doing the same sort of stuff at a very slow pace over and over again. So I, I could see that. Um, but what's cool is when you... I did enjoy hiding in the sunflowers. Yes. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> That's a new feature <laughs> that they added. Um, what's neat is that when you start up, even if you're playing single player, and you start up a game world, it asks you if you want to leave the game open for basically anybody. Anybody online can uh, just randomly find you and join your game. So uh, even if you are playing by yourself, you can play with others. I did see that when I selected it. And I was antisocial, so I said, no. <laughs> no, you cannot join me. There's a uh, like a <laughs> communication wheel and stuff like that. So it's it's simplistic, but it's nice. Um, and it's cool just to have somebody drop in your game for a bit and run around and open your presents and bed leave. Um, yeah, so, okay, let's let's talk about the achievements. Well, keep in mind, uh, one thing on the achievements, you have to be playing on normal for them to work. There are three difficulty settings. You have to play on normal, so you can't do easy, farty, or toddler. Right. Yep, so you can't do that. How many achievements are there total? I didn't write it down. 48. So, so lots of achievements. Lots of achievements. The game has not yet be been completed. Um, I no, 600 suspect... plus players have played it. Yeah. I don't know that it's glitched or anything like that. I suspect. So there w was a bug where it the game didn't, when you first loaded into the game, all your previous progress would be gone. Um, and if you unlocked hard mode and then you have a, a save and a hard mode, you wouldn't be able to play it because the game thought that you hadn't unlocked hard mode, even though you have a save. There was a there was an easy workaround where if you join an online game and then quit out, it brings you back into the load screen, which apparently loaded up your old save data. So you, you, you didn't lose your progress, but it wasn't there the first time you loaded into the game. But as of like an hour ago, or two hours ago, I think, uh, I was just tweeting with the developer, uh, the patch went out and I tested it and it seems to be working just fine. So, that's good. So that's good because that was an issue. I think that was probably part of the reason why this game has not yet been completed. Okay. Um, that would make sense. I can't confirm that yet, of course. But I'm, I'm, uh, I think number five Man. in the world right now. I'm trying hard to get to be one of the first ones, but I don't know. Uh, so they're not. Most of them you'll get through just playing the game. Um, yeah, and some of them are looks like just random where you just do things with, uh, with people, which. I think it's kind of cool, like catching Santa three times. Yep. And just the name, the names of the achievements, I think, are pretty, pretty good. Give me my presents back. Pop a mole who's stolen one or more of your presents. I mean, that's kind of cool. Yeah, the the, the trademark Toe Jam and Earl sort of tongue in cheek is definitely everywhere in the game. So, um, there are some actual real, I would say, semi challenging achievements in this game. You do have to play on hard mode, which is a real struggle. Um, it you you can kind of safe scum it if you have to but even then it's it's not the easiest thing in the world um and then the game will probably require um i'm guessing 10 to 15 playthroughs full playthroughs yeah based on the different modes you have to play yeah yeah and you have to get all the hats which you can only get once you beat the game and usually if you're running through it a game will take you an hour and a half maybe two hours okay so i would i should have just I should have stuck stuck with it and found somebody to play with because I think I would add more fun with it with two players. So play this multiplayer, people. Yeah, yeah. There's it only adds to the experience for sure. I I didn't get the chance to play four player. I do still want to try that out um, because that just sounds really chaotic and crazy. But definitely definitely try to find someone to play with. Um, yeah. And there's definitely um, achievements that are related to playing with multiple people too. So yep. Because you can't heal you can't heal a friend when. You're not playing with anybody. Yeah. In fact, that present doesn't <laughs> even show up in your game. Yeah. Nope. Um, the music is great. That's a big part of Toe Jam and Earl. Uh, yeah. I did read that there was... I wonder if the patch fixed that, too, because I did read there were some issues with people having um, audio, where the audio would stop playing. I didn't experience that. There was some uh, also some, some talk about the trophies being... Some of the easier trophies being glitched on PlayStation, but I don't think that was an Xbox problem. I, I will give credit to the developer. They were very responsive. As soon as I, I realized that my save game was gone, um, they had this platform, some link to this platform on Twitter, where basically players can go and submit uh, issues. And I posted it in there, and probably within an hour, somebody had gotten back to me. 
Um, and then there was, a, the, you know, the thread kind of blew up a little bit. Everybody else was having the same problem. Somebody discovered the online workaround. That was probably three or four days ago. And today we have the patch. So I, that is very responsive. Really so that's fantastic awesome. stuff. Yeah. Um, so hopefully they, they keep on it. Anything else that's going on with the game uh, will get fixed pretty quickly. So, so kudos to them for, for that. Yeah, and and uh, one thing we did also didn't talk about is the price. It's nineteen ninety nine. I think that's a fair price for the game. Yeah. I mean, e- even if it's not the nostalgia glasses that you like, it, it's. I mean, like I said, I was bored with it, but I know it's a good game. I know that. But uh, I mean, nineteen ninety nine, I think, is a fair price for it, and you get a lot of gameplay out of it. Yeah. If you've played the original and you liked it, it's just more of the same. And if you've not played the original, but you're looking for a fun party game, this is something you'll that is unlike any other game that you'll play this is something super unique really interesting and it's i, I think it's a great time to have with, with uh, friends and stuff so uh achievements will be a, a different story but i think it's going to be mostly fun going for them especially if you don't try to rush through it so you don't have to play the game 10 times through in two days you know just kind of go go at it <laughs> casually and i think it'll be a good time uh so yeah uh, i think that's it you have anything else to say about toe jam and earl back in the no group? i don't i like I said, I think I'm just. I think my flaw in the the gameplay of what I did is I was focused on playing single player, and I think uh, with multiplayer, you definitely will. Well, according to Prue, who loves Total Jam and Earl, <laughs> um, <laughs> that it'll be a little bit more fun with multiplayers, which uh, I did not do. So that's my disclaimer. Yeah. On it. So there it is, 1999, Toe Jam and Earl. Uh, all right, back to you guys. 